So, what was that last talk that I was trying to get into? I don't, I don't even know what it was. Okay, that, that was the uh, final plenary session of this conference. Right. Okay. So you're the one that gave me the the, the, the flyer. That's right. I'm Kevin Barrett from BarrettForCongress.us. Uh, you can also find me at TruthJihad.com. Awesome. Awesome. So, okay, you gave me the flyer, and I tried to walk in. And the guy wouldn't let me in. Do you, did you ever find out from him why that's not allowed? Uh, yeah, they had a rule that you're not supposed to bring banners into the ballroom because they're afraid people are going to make a stink by showing the banners. Well, I, I quickly convinced him that we weren't going to do that. Uh, and uh, at, at the same time, uh, there was somebody else there, right, who, who, his supervisor, who was watching it. Later, the supervisor went away. He ended up taking one of those signs. He said, I want one of those. I, I'm going to put that up. I live in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> that was the same security guard that, that tried to stop you. So, really? Yeah, yeah. This is the wonderful thing about 9/11 Truth is that, unlike so many other issues, it really gets some, you know, some interest going among the people. I live in the district of farmers and, you know, just a lot of truckers and, and ordinary folks. It's a little town. It's totally blue collar. These people are on board with 9/11 Truth in a way that they really are not with the anti-war movement, the anti-racism, and all these other wonderful movements. Uh, they get more angry about high treason. Was. They enjoy the conspiracy theory part of it. Uh, this movement is the true grassroots populist movement of our time, and the true internet, uh, net roots movement of our time. It's too bad it was censored at this conference, yeah. but uh, we, we had a huge presence, even though, even though it wasn't official. And the funny thing is, I mean, you've got uh, tons and tons of bloggers who are reporting on this and reporting the history, reporting the connections that are just far too fishy. You know, you just, you can't ignore it. So thank you very much for spreading this message here. Well, and you. I love the flyers. I have four of them. I will definitely, I'm actually, I'm probably going to stick them behind me for whenever I do video. So look forward to that. Right. I look forward to it too. Send me a copy. <laughs> Mind if I get you up? I actually, I picked one up four years ago on a Walgreens, par on a Walgreens parking lot. Four years ago, it was just the bush one. It was just the bush face. Oh, I thought it was so awesome. Yes, I got new ones, and I, you know what? I've kept it all these years in my purse. Whenever I'm just sitting around talking to someone, it's an amazing, amazingly. Look at this! Oh my God, so she's rich. <laughs> Check it out. Sure, she's rich. And actually, I gave most of them to We Are Change um, so that they could pass them out at their events. But yeah. this is the new one. Did you get the? Impression? I've got a couple of new ones. Yeah, that's and awesome. This is a conceptual. Oh, <gasps> And that looks at solutions instead of the problem. So please. Oh my god, Check that's so it. awesome. Yes. This is an awesome, awesome viral idea. I do viral branding and viral marketing. Really cool. well, you know, I am running for Congress. Really? On a 9 11 truth impeachment. Which, uh, uh, which district? Where? California District 14. California District Nice. Yes. So I actually just uh, spoke to a Florida a guy who's running for Congress in Florida, District 24. I'm going to be starting a national newspaper with him. Oh, great. Yeah. Excellent. Well, one of the things that I want to do, you know, Kevin's running for Congress, too. Really? Yes. And we're both 9-11 truth activists, but I'm also an impeachment activist, and there's a national coalition of impeachment candidates. Nice. And I'd like it to grow there even larger. And so what I want to do is, um, I'm almost out of these, so i got to make some more. Make perception dolls and make them for the candidates who want to serve people, can not have corporations. That oh, yeah, of course, that's what it was for. And this is my movie, you can have it too. Oh, my God. And, uh, by, and it's on the internet, but go ahead, check it nice. out. Nice. Um, get it on your community access television stations. But, the, the deception dollars were created to overcome the media censorship of the issue. Yes. And they were so popular that the money people gave us to get them in vast quantities to pass out of the anti-war rallies funded the first documentary films and the first citizens' inquiry in general. So this was a comedy benefit to um, help overcome the psychological barriers to just the basic facts about them. Yeah, like the fact that the things were bombs and right, exactly. Yeah. And and so the first hour of this is just art, music, comedy, and then the second hour is a documentary of the first citizens of the Yeah, and then the uh, uh, testimony of David Lee Griffin before the Black Congressional Caucus saying the 9/11. Mission report is alive with emissions. And mm -hmm. So that's the, the basic Completely concept. Completely and totally. Do you that. have any more buttons? I can give you this one. Oh. I have I have more somewhere in my luggage, and I was just it's a, I, I'm going to go ahead and get another button. Okay, cool. 
I'm a nut for buttons. I put them on everything. But thank you so much. It's so awesome.